welcome back to the channel guys today i'll be taking a look at the ryzen 9 9950x 3d cpu gratitude to steezing breezing for providing me with the cpu thanks as always for supporting my efforts what i'm going to be doing is comparing the 9950x 3d against my 9800x 3d at 5.6 gigahertz to see if it can keep up with the gaming king in my opinion and this is the best of both all cpu so it would crush the 9800X 3D in anything productivity. So we'll be taking a look at a few productivity tests as well. And just to see how the overall experience is with this new CPU. One of the advantages of the 9950X 3D is that it basically is the best of both worlds. 16 cores, 32 threads, more than enough for any type of productivity workload. Plus it's intelligent enough to be able to switch off some of those cores and still game so i'm going to start off by showing off how good it is when it comes to productivity and obviously cinebench is a good tool to measure that so this is cinebench r23 i've got um core temp here as well as you can see power draw temperatures um ignore the core clocks so for some reason it doesn't get this correct but everything else is is correct so i'll start with cinebench r23 this will always remain on top so you'll be able to see what's going on as you can see, I'm drawing 253 to 54 watt. So quite a lot of power, but as you can see, it's cutting through Cinebench R23 with ease and the temperatures are not too bad. You can see I'm getting um, about 70, 70 degrees. And I was able to score a multi-core score 47,057. So that's really, really good. My Intel i9-49 KS, I believe the best I was able to get was like 44,000 or something like that. Um, so this is faster than that, that's for sure. So I'm going to do a single core test as well. And uh, this does take time, but I'll speed that up for the interest of time, of course. So the single core score has been complete and I've got a score 2358, which is really, really good. Just to be able to have all of that multi-core power and still have a really healthy single core score is pretty impressive. Okay, moving on to Cinebench 2024. Same deal, multi-core test, single core test. So as you can see, uh, the results are in 2676 for the multi-core score, which is pretty insane. Um, I'm thinking of my 4900KS that was getting 2551. And now this is getting 2676. So that's a massive increase, realistically. It's not easy to get over 100 points on um, Cinebench. So that's quite, quite substantial. The next test is Geekbench 6, just a popular multi-core and single threaded test it just runs a whole suite of i'd say office productivity tasks and simulates all of these everyday tasks and then gives you a rating at the end so i'm going to run that now okay guys so the score is in so i got three five nine nine on the single core, which is really, really good. And 24,768 for the multi, which is very impressive. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, with my 9800X 3D, I was able to get 3,600 plus, but considering the multi-core score is considerably higher, I'm actually very, very content with that. So all in all, happy with that. Okay, so I'm gonna just do some games now and then we can, uh, See exactly how the two CPUs perform against each other.
soon as we find a good spot, we can get things set up and ready to go. And then we can get started. This is gonna be great! You bet. <laughs> yeah. I hope we find them soon. So guys, conclusion time after comparing the 9800X 3D overclocked to about 5.6 GHz on the Vcash course via Boost and the 9950X 3D overclocked via the same method, so around about 5.6, 5.7 GHz on the Vcash course. You're basically splitting the hairs between the two CPUs. Somehow AMD have created a 16 core variant of the 9800X 3D without really taking a performance penalty in gaming because if you have a look at the 7950X 3D, the boost clock and the difference in performance between the two CPUs um, was quite large. I'll say the 7800X 3D was considerably better than the 7950X 3D in gaming for the most part. But with the upgraded scheduling, um, you basically split in hairs. I think there was out of the six games I compared, there was three draws. Um, F1 2024, there was one FPS, which is basically margin of error, so we could call it four draws. And even when the 9800X 3D did win, it was only by about three FPS or less. So they've really done an amazing job in um, maintaining that gaming performance, even though you've got eight other cores that don't have 3D Vcash. If you have a look at the scheduler, here, even in this gameplay right now with Stellar Blade, you can see that all of the non-Vcash cores are basically not being used. And they've, they've basically been parked. I've set up my on-screen display to only show the cores, not the virtual cores. So you're seeing eight Vcash cores and eight um, cores without the Vcash. Um, and as you can see, none of the cores without Vcash are being utilized. And as a result, we're getting basically 9800X 3D performance with uh, over 5.5 gigahertz boost, which is amazing. And looking at the power draw, only using 93 watts. So I'm very, very impressed. So once again, gratitude to Steez and Breezing for providing the 9950X 3D CPU. And of course, thanks for supporting the channel as always. But that is pretty much it for me, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks for watching.